Blessings, beloved light tribe. The final merging of the grounded earth systems, the crystalline grid, and the fifth six dimensional new earth grid systems, which are a much more flexible, less static system, was completed on January 12th. Some of you may have received the nod from your higher level teams or directly from the sun itself confirming this alignment. 2012 was the end of pillar work. 2013 released us from the work of transmuting for the collective. And earlier this month, we completed the necessary gateway work of fusing the 4D grounded and fifth dimensional grid systems of Gaia via the crystalline grid interface. Beneath beloved Mount Shasta is a giant etheric crystal in geometry. Metatron called it the crystal of Ohm a few years ago. This crystalline ball of geometry may have been interpreted as a solar light or central sun within the mountain in the past. Gateway structures operate the same as the body vehicle, planetary consciousness, solar light, galaxies, and universes. They are tube torus energy fields with a central chamber which links them to the higher dimensions. Linking the tube torus of the heart center with the tube torus energy fields of the body vehicle, higher self, and higher dimensional expressions of self is one of the goals of the ascension process. Everything is linked through the heart center, which contains a pure connection to source light, and the levels radiate out from this core point as dimensional expressions, different densities, different frequencies, like Russian nesting dolls all within each other, all simultaneous expressing as different dimensions radiating out. Mount Shasta has a massive energy field. Earlier this month, the crystalline sphere, which holds a unique technology of shifting geometry, it adjusts to currents of cosmic consciousness, rose up the central chamber of the Taurus field of Mount Shasta and fully activated the templates which are in alignment with our current phase of ascension. These templates were planted within Mount Shasta for safekeeping to be activated during the grand shift in consciousness during the shift to the golden race. The I am templates, Germain violet flame templates, Native American, Pleiadian, Lemurian, Syrian, Arcturian, Andromedan, Venusian, all of these golden race DNA templates and a host of other well-intentioned holographic guidelines for this moment were deeply encoded, some wrapped in a metaphor and hidden in the etheric realms of Shasta for safekeeping. As this crystalline core lifted, it raised these templates into activation and is now beaming forth these codes and DNA sequences, making them readily available to all who choose to engage with them via the crystalline grid interface. The merging of the gates around Mount Shasta began on the 11-11-2013. Gateways, the actual structures of the gateways, not the windows of dates given to interact with them, work with the same delivery system of the infinite structure of the tube torus. For years, it was the gatekeeper's work to open these because there had to be grounded consent within the new sphere of the consciousness of humanity in order to engage with this activity. And it also gave the higher levels a monitoring system for where our collective level of consciousness was and how willing we were to participate in the process. As always, our willingness and our participation to align through the heart into the higher realms of our own consciousness is what assists in setting up these triggers working with the higher and the lower levels merging into unity consciousness. This is why gatekeepers called forth accelerations in the highest interest of all concerned. Some gatekeepers heard the energy fields as they approached them. Some saw them. Some were intuitively guided to certain areas in order to work with them. Regardless, 
The work included an alignment of the energy fields through the heart center of the grounded form in order for these gateways to amplify. The key to the gates is always in the heart alignment, always. Now that the grounded work of alignment and activation is complete, the waves of cosmic energy are now released more frequently, more consistently. You can feel this right now, and with a greater intensity. It is an act of grace that our higher levels have been able to filter these energies up to this point. Now that our level of consciousness, our collective agreement, has consciously opened these pathways between the higher and lower levels of Gaia, our experiences will become more profound, more creative, and align with a true state of creator consciousness, the true divine human, God-man, source-man that we are. I am sure many of you are experiencing a new level of freedom, sovereignty, and deep resonation which reverberates through all levels, layers, and dimensional expressions of you expanding out into unity consciousness with all of these co-creators of the shift. While our teams may continue to provide dates of amplification, passages where leveling up is much easier, the grounded experience of calling forth and holding open gateways during photonic waves becomes an at-will practice. Personally, it has been revealing to provide the cosmic weather report on when flares and cosmic waves would provide amplification, bringing in the prophetic and profound metaphors of our present journey. It is a delicious expansion in alignment with my true self and the higher collective creative, divine, human unification and that unity consciousness, a whole. A note to gatekeepers. The fascinating and somewhat exhausting practice of gatekeeping takes on a new level. Some will move on to holding space for others to experience what we experience in that fifth, sixth dimensional heavenly realm and beyond. Some may go into teaching alignment. Some may serve as interdimensional escorts. Very excited to explore that one. Some may move on to the multidimensional merge of consciousness. Levels of your consciousness are beginning to merge with your higher dimensional expressions, other races, other beings. Please refer to my articles prior to this one for information on that. Regardless, gatekeepers stand as grounded conduits for the Christed gateways in a much stronger, much more potent way. An embodied merge of higher and lower realms, guardians of the new light. Things are lovely, creative, sleepy, brilliant, simple, and complex all at once. We are getting bombarded with our unity consciousness. Somehow, we manage to understand through the heart and keep up with all of this. At last, we are out of the mind game and into much more playful, deep dreams of source. The merging of grid systems provides constant opportunities for everyone to engage with the higher realms in a direct, clear way. As always, alignment is key. If your heart Taurus is not aligned with pure intention and your higher levels, your experience in these chambers of light will spin you off center. This is what we mean when we say someone is spun out. Their Taurus energy fields are getting warped by lesser intentions, lower energy structures, either their own or someone else's, so they spin off center. The Equinox to Blood Moon Eclipse series. As our alignment with zero point becomes more accurate, as parts of our brain awaken to interpret the multidimensional self, a lot of you experiencing that as that liquid light flowing into the brain, it makes your brain itself and the inside of your skull feel very active and liquid light. It's like a golden, warm, honey sensation, but crystalline and very active. Christed DNA 
as we call it forth, golden race DNA, as we call it forth, divine human DNA, whatever your consciousness allows to bring this in. As this comes forth, our experience grows more profound, more unfamiliar, and more calm and centered than ever before because we have done the work going into the unknown. All of these challenges were to teach us how to go into the unknown with an open heart and be okay with everything that is unique to your experience. We have two powerful windows this year which complete the series of equinox through blood moon eclipse passages. Equinox March 20th through the blood moon eclipse on April 4th, 15 days. The equinox of September 23rd through the blood moon eclipse of September 28th is only five days. All of these have been getting shorter and shorter and shorter. These act like a sieve for cosmic energies becoming more and more focused in their delivery. Understand that time-space is an energy contained in giant tube torus structures. It does take up time-space. It is an energy. A lot of folks saying time doesn't exist. Yes, as you get less and less dense, your experience of time changes. There's more and more flexibility. The resonation of your own torus fields expand and accelerate to match a higher spin of collective experience of time. A collective experience of time is a dimension itself, a fifth dimensional experience, a sixth dimensional experience, all becoming lighter, faster, more present, more zero point. Density burns off as we heat up and spin faster. The collective is free to experience a faster rate of time. And for those resonating through the heart center, you will experience profound stillness as you align with all aspects of your true self. In the stillness of the heart center, the source spark within, you move your personal energy fields to align with the highest possible experience available and much less dense. This is what the equinox through the blood moon passages provide for us, just like the gateway passages of 2012 through 2014, only it is a much more precise activity. These last two gateways of 2015 bring us into alignment with many of us experiencing a marriage of dimensional selves and divine aspects folding into a solar cosmic Christed embodiment, much higher frequency of consciousness resonating within the body vehicle. Representations of that embodiment will begin to emerge through 2015 and into 2016. Understanding that this is the complete game changer when it comes to our experience on this planet, know that there is an availability of much higher choices and we are free to engage with them through our divine intention and the divine heart center. It is highly complementary to anyone on the path of mastery or the solar cosmic Christ and alchemy to align with your own true center and navigate your unique experiences from the heart, from the higher state of your heart coherence. In pure moments of alignment, your DNA, brain, pineal, and awareness will experience tremendous expansion this year. A word on the multidimensional merge. As portions of the brain activate, they awaken in a neighborhood of cells that have been working from a lower level construct for a very long time. As you call forth and command new neural pathways within the brain to operate in a fifth dimensional state of consciousness and beyond, you may experience moments of blank slate or blank stare as if you just stepped out for a moment. The crystalline structures activating within the brain and the activation of the long dormant areas of the brain along with long dormant strands of DNA will be steering your activity, thoughts, and energy fields to align with higher self states of consciousness. Understanding that the higher self operates from a much more pliable state of time-space, 
the brain begins to attune the consciousness to a higher state of beingness. This is why the psychological fallout from the shift was such a concern, because if older parts of the brain attempt to control new parts of the brain which are activating, there can be considerable conflict in a person's consciousness. That's why the earlier stages of awakening, of clearing those lower level constructs of mind, ego, and emotion in order to align with the newer consciousness was so important. This is why surrender and alignment have been such an important method as these structures activate. If you are experimenting with simultaneously merging your sixth through ninth dimensional selves within your consciousness, within your divine embodiment, pace yourself. Remember to align your heart and energy fields continuously as they expand outward so that you align with true aspects of your divine self. The same applies to third, fourth eye journeys. Remember not to steer the vision with the mind. Stay aligned with the heart. Ask your higher self, Christ itself, higher teams, to show you the truth continually as the visions present. I understand how vivid these journeys and experiences are becoming. Alleluia, brothers and sisters. We are really hitting the high mark in this process. Be sure to balance these experiences with integration. It takes less time, but make sure that you pay attention. It may be helpful to light ground in creative ways that are very personal, very private, and unique to you. January 23rd through 25th presents as our next influx of accelerated energies. I understand that every day feels like an acceleration in 2015. We are blessed with an amplification of the merge with these higher positive timelines of ascension. Throughout 2015, we will continue to have opportunities to level up in more precise ways. My team is calling this a gateway of divine choice. This message is directed at the divine humans who have already chosen to engage with the higher ascension timelines and have been doing so for a while. As always, our work within these gateways is to experience the unknown and create pathways for others to follow. No one is abandoned. Free will dominates the energy of every creation. That energy is directed by its creator. That creator is you. No, there is a collective choosing to walk through these gateways first in order to serve humanity. As powerful as our experiences have been in just the last few weeks, we are about to receive energies which lock us into the equinox through blood moon eclipse gateways of this year. The energies will produce more and more precise activations. You may feel the great lifting or pulling sensations from the heart center, the high heart, becoming more acute and more consistent. Gatekeepers and grid workers, our service, now that the merging of grid systems is complete, becomes quite powerful and precise. As our consciousness merges with higher levels, teams, and Christ itself, our work of transmitting these divine energies through the collective ascending human heart grid will take on a very euphoric sensation. Our grounding is to the fifth, sixth dimensional crystalline core of Gaia through your own Christed heart center and up to the core of the solar light, our beloved sun. Our intention is divine levels of support and stability from the highest orders of divine consciousness to provide stability, strength, and an amplification of divine human ascension. You may visualize consciously threading the cosmic photonic light waves into the crystalline grid and grounded earth systems into every divine human heart choosing to ascend in this now moment in the highest interests of all concerned. The infinity symbol, the gateway symbol, the diamond octahedron within the Vesica Pisces. See the logo on my website. It is a gatekeeper activation symbol. Our preparation is like grounding of divine intentions, individual meditation focused on personal expression, maximum opening of the cellular structure, fasting would be complementary, 
connecting with the solar light teams, the crystal grids on Gaia activated before the wave and connecting with the benevolent fifth, sixth dimensional and higher support teams. Remember, we are taking on the dynamic of the solar light, the solar cosmic Christ. Infuse your intentions and activities with that template, which is being broadcast through all systems at this time. Blessings upon every divine being in service to the ascension into unity consciousness.